to Francesco and Daddy's DIY tutorials. Today, as you can notice if you look at our channel, we have cha switched our icon from just a normal F to a cool DIY thing we made ourselves. So, let's get into the video. As you can see, this is an EGR va valve for Dodge Ram 2006. And we are going to show you how to put this on today and how to take off the old one. Okay, so we're at the front of the vehicle now, looking down here. What you want to do for the EGR valve, folks, is just get this Hemi throttle body uh, cover out of the way and also the air cleaner, uh, you know, cap, um, cap. cap, and actually the entire um, unit out of the way. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. So how to do that is you unscrew this screw, you take this off, all right, this lifts straight up. You just disconnect this real quick, and you're done. Then also, then this, there's just two uh, screws. One is right here. One is right here. And then that just pulls off also, front and up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to get that done right now, and then we'll return in a moment. And there's one thing we forgot. See this little clip right there? You need to take that off of the cover before you lift it up or it doesn't really come out. Right, so this throttle body cover, you, you undo this, you take out the two bolts, you pull it forward because it comes off of here and then up. Okay, and then as you can see, we took uh, the air filter uh, case. case out and how that comes out is it just slides straight up. That's all you do. Take it straight up. It's very nice and easy. No screws or bolts at all. Okay, now if you look down here, here is the old EGR valve. So we're going to take off these two bolts here for the tube. This tube goes all the way around over there. And then we're going to take the two bolts off that are underneath here to release it from the um, cylinder head. And then that'll come off. Then we'll put the new one back on. And then we'll also take this tube off. There's a clip there, right there, that lifts up. You lift it up and you take the tube off and then you can clean it out or you can replace the tube, one or the other. But just give us a moment and we'll be right back. Okay, so if you look right here on this um, EGR valve, there's two 8 millimeter bolts right here that hold the tube on. Okay, that's the first thing to take off. So you break them like that. Once you take them off, you take the tube off and we'll take another break here. Then there's two other bolts down here that you take off that go into the head and once you take those off the EGR valve falls into your hand. That's all. Okay guys, so back to us right here where what I did was I unscrewed the two screws here at the EGR valve. Make sure you soak those with penetrating fluid like a day in advance. Do not try and take these two bolts out. They break out a lot. There's a lot of heat in there uh, over the years. And if you've gone a couple hundred thousand miles and you try and take these out, they'll probably break in, in right inside there and you have to get new bolts and, and you know and get into trouble. So you take but you take those out and then that'll loosen this up. And then up here is a clip. You lift this clip with uh, a screwdriver and then you pull this out and now you have the tube off. What you show here is, if you can see, is Francesco, there's a lot of junk and gook inside there. So you want to clean this tube out. Uh, it seems like they're hard to get and hard to find. I couldn't find a new one online that was available. So I am just going to um, clean this one out and put it back on. And then here's our old EGR valve. And uh, came off pretty nice because I had had uh, hit, hit it with penetrating fluid. But the new one comes with this... Uh, with this gasket already metal gasket and then there's a paper gasket for here on the tube side both of them go back on the same way it's actually a pretty easy job and uh, you put them all for these uh, screws back to torque at 20 pounds 20 foot pounds and that's it and you put it back together in reverse and you got yourself your um, new EGR valve installed in a nice clean tube thanks until next time